Hey, this is Eric coming to you from Mornings in the Lark, and currently I'm surrounded by hundreds of black squirrels, and just like in the movies, if you've seen this video, if you're watching this video right now, the squirrels are taking over. You heard it first. From Mornings in the Lark. <laughs> they're everywhere. I don't know what they're doing, but they're everywhere. All right, Romans 8.1, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. If you're in Christ Jesus, if you have a relationship with the Lord, this, the foundation of the scripture is saying you as a Christian are free from um, God's banishing judgment. But here's the deal. All right. Sometimes when you talk to people about, you know, the Bible, maybe it might be a relative. I was talking with my, my guys this morning about, you know, we're just talking to relatives or friends and you start talking about the Bible, they automatically feel judged. Stop judging me. You know, I have my personal views and you have your personal views and um, they feel almost a little condemned. Well, I I really believe if, if you're feeling condemned all the time about when somebody brings up something in the Bible and what the Bible says, you, you probably need to change some things in your life, okay? Because if you have a relationship with God, I want to look at the scripture in this way, that there's a convicting power to God that, that draws us in closer. You might have heard of um, somebody explained, you know, when, when the difference between God and the devil is the devil condemns and, and makes you feel hopeless. You know, sin promises to um, liberate or give you freedom, but then enslaves you. I remember Dr. Edwin Lewis Cole used to teach on that, that sin promises. Yeah, you can do this, you can do that, you can do this, but in the end it enslaves you and you, and you feel condemned. You feel bad about it. You know, the choices that you make, you never feel right. And so the difference between God and, and then the um, the devil is this, that that when we live in a relationship with the Lord, that there's a conviction. So we're always working towards perfection. And there's a small voice inside of us that says, you know, you probably shouldn't do that. We've all had, heard that voice, you know, you, you're going somewhere, you're about to get into something and there's something inside of you going, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. I've heard that voice so many times and I wish I could say I listened to it more than ignore it, but I've ignored it a lot of times and we all have, but, but having a relation, the, the benefit of having a relationship with God is that he's, he's working on you and, and he's working through you and he might be telling you in that small voice not to do it because he wants to draw you closer to him. Okay. In a relationship with him. And so vice versa, the enemy's like, yeah, go do it. He's like the fun uncle, but there's, no, there's no regrets. And then you wake up the next day with all these regrets. And so at least with the Lord, we know that there's no condemnation, that if we if we live with him, there, there, there is going to be this convicting spirit. And it's like an earmark. It's almost like a, a road marker or a sign in the road that says, yeah, you're going the right way. Keep on listening to this sign. Don't, don't go this other way. And so I want to encourage you today, that still small voice, listen to it. All right. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ. Because there is a convicting spirit that we should be listening to all the time. And you're going to hear that spirit today. You know, someone might say something a little off color at the office or, you know, you're, you're tired, you've been working hard or you got a project due and then one of your friends say some, says something or hurt your feelings and, and the next thing you know, you're just ready to fire back a rifle back and answer and, and there's still small voice and going, don't do it. You know, you might be uh, uh, dealing with some things. I deal with a lot of different people with addictions, you know, and they're secret addictions and you get this urge to do it and there's that small voice inside of you saying, don't do it, don't do it, do it. I just want to encourage you. You can do all things through Christ. Listen to that small voice, that voice of reason that's inside you. Listen to it. It'll always lead you to a road that brings you closer to the Lord where there's hope, there's healing, there's restoration. The other one promises freedom, but in the end, it enslaves you. There is therefore now no condemnation of those who live in Christ Jesus. Stay strong, stay close to the Lord, and you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. God bless. This is Eric. Coming to you from the Lark, I'm out.